one of the things we want to talk about later as how can we as a group help the candidates is during petitioning the possibility of providing door knock lists so that you know that you've got you're carrying a petition into a building or into a neighborhood and you have a list of all of people who are registered Democrats who typically have voted in the last two or three elections. So that those those are your prime yeah. um, people to sign a petition because we know those petitions will withstand challenge and that also piggybacks on the door knocking and the canvassing to get uh, prime voter I positive IDs, which is what Andy talked about at the last meeting. So you're killing two birds with one stone with the petition. Mm -hmm. Everyone has, all the challengers have the, I can't remember what it's called. What's this other vans? It's not vans, it's... It's it's, uh, it's van. No, no, van? Working Family Party. Oh, the Votivate, which is still in test. Right. So, so either so van or Votivate, they'll, right. they'll hand everyone, and, and people will know what doors to knock on. I'm, right. I'm gonna, I have to run, but is this yeah, a I, rep your block question? Any other rep your block questions? No? Thank you all for having us. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, number one, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, next up um, is somebody from New Queens, Democrats? Yes. Oh, that's oh. you. Okay. All right, no presentation? Uh, no, it's pretty Someone. much the same information. Mm -hmm. so, I'll hand this out in case anyone wants to. If you want to put the numbers from the other. From the other team, so they can see the number. You can explain. Uh, no. You sure? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. That's your number. Hey, everyone. I'm Shahan. I'm from the New Queens Democrat. Uh, I won't go over too much of the same information that's already been said. Uh, we're also running a county committee program in Queens. Um, so I don't know if anybody here is from Queens, but if you are, there you go. Uh, feel free to go look us up. We're on Facebook, social media. Uh, we have a website, newqueensdems.org. Uh, we're running a pretty heavy campaign right now. We're in full swing. And later this month, we'll be having a training session in Long Island City. Um, so just check, out, check us out on social media. We'll be in touch with anybody that's interested. Um, the structure is vaguely, it's pretty much the same as in Manhattan, although they don't really have anything published online, so we're not really able to verify. Um, but yeah, we're trying to change all that and make it more transparent. Right the structure of what is the same as Manhattan? County community structure, yeah. Uh, so yeah, any questions or anything like that? <laughs> Perfect. Short and sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Now we're going to have um, Theo, uh, who's, who's been diligently working with slides for us. And he's going to talk a little bit about a tool that he developed. So by now, who doesn't know what a county committee is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So my name is Theo Chino. Uh, I'm the you, I'm the newcomer in the in this story, and basically I am a, a county committee member who got elected. Uh, in the northern Manhattan in uh, the 71st AD, where Maricela, now where uh, Alcantara live. So I am in there, in her district. Uh, I have been elected, I discovered this thing by, by sheer luck, and I decided to run for the position with no information whatsoever. So I ran, I petitioned, I only needed 60 signatures, I got them in a day or two, and I got elected, uh, Actually, the voters in my district were surprised to see three names for that position because there were people running. So I'm a computer engineer. I worked for Time Warner Cable when, before there were Spectrum, and I developed things. And I am an outraged Democrat. And I hope that in the next five years, we can change that to proud Democrat. So we need to get rid of the IDC, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I've done is basically I took the idea of RepuBlock, what also the young Manhattan Democrat Benny has done, and I put it on steroid. So basically you go to a website, I've been passing these to, I'll pass them later, and basically you say I'm interested, you go to the website, you say I'm interested of running, I have no clue what it is, and, but I want to do a petition. So basically do I have someone who wants to be my guinea pig and give me a first name, last name, and they did a burst? Anyone? I'll take yours. C-H-E-R. I-E. I-E. Uh-huh. Last name? 
A C I E R N O R N O R C R N O. Uh, yeah, sort of. <laughs> it has to be precise, I'm sorry. Date of birth? Um, 8, 4, August 4th. <laughs> sorry for that, but... I... August, 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 August. Oh, August. sorry. August? 1961. 1961. So here we go. You live in the f election district 5, assembly district 75. You have 364 Democrats. There is 19 signatures you are required to have to get on the, onto the <laughs> county committee. <laughs> Technically, there should be a map uh, right here. So this is, your count, <laughs> this is your county committee, somewhere between 16th Street and 15th Street, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Between 7 and... Ah, oh, that's Subway. <laughs> between... <laughs> so right there, basically, yeah. this is your district. Yeah. Between 7 and 8, 6, we agree? Yeah. We're good. Fine, so we're not done. So you have three options. I want to run, I think about it, and this is not my address. <laughs> so if you don't live there, you can go through the system. It'll take you to the DMV, it'll take you to the DOE. You can do everything online. You follow their instruction. It's convoluted, but we don't. You can think about it, and we'll ask you for your email, and you tell us, we'll, we'll try to refer you to a club, to something where you can be taken care of to be handheld into the system. But if you're like an independent activist, you say, I want to run. I'm going to run. So here we go. You click on I want to run. So you have to watch about 15 minutes of Ben Yee presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the county committee is. So we're not going to go that there. Then we're going to ask you to give an email. So I'm going to put some stuff there. It's, uh, a username because you're going to basically it's a van, it's a little bit like van, and we're going to organize your voter list. So I'm going to present you very quickly with a voter list. These are the people in your neighborhood you need to petition for. So you're going to look for the people you recognize. So you, so I'm going to take about ten people. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, and I'm going to do, and I'm going to print a petition set. There you are. Here is a petition. Sherry Asierno, member of the Democratic County on the Fifth Assembly District. Go get those signatures. And those have the name and everything is there. You can sort it out. Everything will be that easy. Then you take it to the Board of Election. You, I'll give you the, the, because this is a little bit particular. There will be uh, another sheet that you need to put on top of it. Because, a cover sheet, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then basically that's it. So here it is, later on on the program, I'm going to put other candidate who you will be able to co-petition with. Mm -hmm. That will have the name of the candidate, like for example, an IDC challenger, Robert Jackson. And you will have it just underneath with the same, the, the committee and all the, the stuff that needs to be there, so the petition are valid together. So you don't over, et cetera. And what happens if George Evans isn't home and you never get George Evans' signature? What does that do? That Just cross it off and that's is it. That, is that legitimate? That doesn't invalidate? That doesn't the invalidate the petition. The only thing you need to do is have them in order. So for example, if you get uh, Joanna, on the 6th of June and you got everybody on the 4th, that could be technically, uh, they might say that the petition needs to be in order. So, wow, that's awful. Because that's awful. So there are a lot of rules. Right? There are a lot of rules, but the thing is not everybody is going to be challenged. So for county committee, remember, you can run in any AD, in any ED within the AD where you belong to, but to be challenged, you need to be one of those people that has to go to the board of election and challenge you. <laughs> so it's not that easy. It's, it gets complicated. So this is what I call an olive branch or steamroller. <laughs> <laughs> an olive branch because I want to work with the club, with the establishment, with everything within the Democratic club party. But if the leaders are completely clueless and they don't want to work with the people, this will steamroll through their district <laughs> and go. And that's basically it. Any question or any? So the county committee members are usually included 
on the overall ballot, right? Only if there is more than if there is more than there is a choice for the voter to make. So if there is two positions in the county committee for that district and there is two people running, you'll never see, like Ben said, you'll never see the, the your name. I still had to get signatures though when I ran. Yes, you still need to get signatures. But you will not show up. Yes. You still need to collect the signature, but you don't need that many signatures. As you saw here, you need five percent of the Democrat within your district. Is there any way to find out whether slash who your um, so on my site, no, but there is this group called uh, that is also a nonpartisan that is called the County Committee Sunlight Project, and they've been going to the DOE record. So if you type your address, for example, 640 where I live, uh, oh, actually I could take cherries since you right there. I, I have your address now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this one. And I'll put it here. And I believe they did a very good job. And uh, at a. Uh, you need the one. You lost the leading one. You lost the number one. 161. Yes. No, it's 15th Street, right? No. No, right. no it's it was 161. 161. Oh, 161, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. You, you did your copy paste. There you go. So, technically, in your district, uh, who is there? No, we don't see anyone in appointed or there is nobody there in your, in your, in your district. Actually, wait, I see, no, I see, no, no, sorry, there is two people, Paul Brockney and Matt Tepper. And they ran on contested entry, sorry, there were two people, sorry. So, this is a website uh, called ccsunlight.org and I have linked to all those sites from my Outrage Democrat website. Uh, any other question, or I'm, I just wanted to show you that. What's, what's, a, what's your website and the URL? It's called, uh, my website is called outragedems.nyc. Uh, this one is, a, this is the demo, uh, what you saw, but this is, um, the thing is there is also a forum, because I believe that to have ideas, you need to have a, you need to exchange with people, so I also created a forum where people can exchange ideas on public transportation, ecology, privacy, business, whatever you feel like talking, and <coughs> brainstorm. So I'll, I'll pass around those little cards. Uh, oh. Yeah, hi, uh, Arthur Schwartz. You're um, leader. <laughs> I, I just wanted to add a, a sort of a corollary to what he's saying. So what I think is important, I'm, I'm, the, I'm a Democratic district leader which I've been from 95 to 2005 and then 2013 till now. And so the district that the county committee people run in is an assembly district, right? And then they normally under, 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 under the state law, the county committee meets one time a year, once, who no, knows, right? Unless it votes at its meeting to have more another meeting. So in, so there's two parts of why, why I'm saying this. So, it's very important, and this is a bunch of political activists, for people to run for district leader. Because the district leader is basically in charge of 100 county committee members. They, they sit on a, a district, maybe a whole assembly district in Brooklyn, Queens, uh, in the Bronx. A whole assembly district is, is one district in Manhattan. They split it up into part A, B, C, and D sometimes. Um, and you're the person in charge of that division of the county committee. Uh, and, and, and that, and in between meetings of the county committee, the executive committee of the county committee is the district leader. So ben, you know, Ben went through, Ben Yi was here, to, he did the whole presentation on that at the beginning. So I'm okay, the fourth so person coming. That that's, so between the meetings, if you're not, you can do whatever, whatever you may accomplish and whatever you may get Robert's Rules of Order out of accomplishing at the annual meeting, if, you, if there aren't, if there are district leaders that can get carried on, if people should run, it's not, it's, it's a little bit harder, you have to maybe get 500 signatures instead of 19 signatures, but, but it's plausible to do it, 
you guys are going to be getting thousands of signatures this year. You'll get good practice. Next year, in, in, I think um, this year in Brooklyn, next year in Manhattan, you know, you can run for that. Um, the, um, this, the second point I wanted to make is that uh, at the meeting itself, um, they're, they're, in Manhattan, we actually, this year, there was somewhat of an effort for people to run people, uh, but there was a, before the county committee meeting, there was a conundrum because uh, Paul Newell, who was the, his divisional but, county. But, but Arthur, I'll stop you there because the thing is how to leverage the county committee with the IDC race. Not really to go over the, the story of what happened at the county committee. I mean, I know that, that Paul and all that thing with Brooklyn, but we need to get to leverage both sides of the county committee with the ID, against the IDC to get, you know, to get the petition, to get people involved. And the county leader is the next step above that is still, we're not there yet. So you're promoting running for county committee as a way to encourage people to get signatures? As both. I mean, the way it was intended by Tammany Hall 200 years ago. <laughs> it's kind of, I mean, that's what Ben... So it was a way to take over the party. Well, yeah, also, eventually, I mean, uh, I mean, you, we, we, we had two, you had Rep you Block that came earlier, and you had Ben that explained the same thing. So I'm just the last f showing off the tool, basically. Yeah. Go ahead. I just have a question. Now, yeah. the tool I know you, you created for the mm -hmm. county committee. Yes. Is there a way that this tool could also work for petitioning for state senate? And yes. And would yes. that date situation where the, if somebody signs on the sixth then someone signs on the it will affect lower. it will affect uh -huh. all the race on the piece of paper uh -huh. yes. so they have to be careful on doing that correctly uh -huh. and that's why you have to organize kind of your you know if you if you're going to do a block you select the people in that block you run your thing and at the end of the day you forget those petitions you print a new batch at home on your printer like two three four piece of paper. You need to start new every day. Exactly. The order, the whole mm -hmm. is and the other thing I didn't show you is also through Facebook, through, through the, the idea here is also people who don't know anything about petitioning or anything, they can, oops, sorry, they can go back and they say, I don't know anything and I would like to sign a petition for someone who run, oh, sorry, uh, wrong, you are. So there will be other links where you'll be able to work like that. Uh, oh, sorry. Problem with technology. Well, <laughs> too bad. Oh, it's web, sorry. That's the one. There. I would like to run for a petition for someone else. So there will be a petition where you can select the candidate you want to sign your petition for. And we'd link to the candidate website. And the, the, the person will be able to build a common petition and mail it to someone. And that someone could be the county leader, county committee, the district, uh, the campaign manager, whoever. And I will work with anyone who wants to work with me. And by the way, this is not for sale. It's actually free. Right. Thank As you an so activist. Much. So thank you. And uh, last but not least, we have um, Richard from Rise and Resist wanted to talk a little bit about a plan that an idea that he had. <coughs> You can hear a computer? No, I have no visuals, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm Richard Barr, and I've been attending the uh, Rise and Resist uh, election slash anti-IDC committee uh, meetings here in Manhattan. And I brought a uh, proposal there which um, they felt I should uh, bring here. Let me just back up to four years ago <clears throat> when uh, Oliver Coppell primary Jeff Klein in the Bronx. Now, I had been his press secretary when he was a state attorney general, the last time an attorney general left office early, but th then it was voluntary, not, not forced. And the legislature had chosen him uh, to fill the last year. But beyond, before that, he had been an elected uh, state assemblyman from the Bronx for 23 years, and after that, 